Hey guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back. Today we have BoxyCharm, which the box is upside down. Oh well, I just opened it and I must say, I don't know what's happening, but I feel like BoxyCharm is kind of like, um, um, losing their touch because I'm just going to show you a quick peek. There is like no like packaging at all. Like there's no foam or anything and I don't have a card. So I don't know if they're like understaffed or what's happening. And the uh, first thing I see in here is this and it's dirty. It's like dirty. Um, what's going on, BoxyCharm? But it's pharmacy, um, very cherry clean makeup melt away cleansing balm. And pharmacy from, if I can remember, is cruelty free. Which is kind of sucky because, um, wait, hold on. Made in Korea. So it is cruelty free because of the Korea. Because Korea, it's funny because China does and Korea is like, no thank you with cruelty freeness. Uh, so let's open it because I know it's not super sealed. One thing is cool is it did come with a spatula which did fall on my lap. Uh, and that's cool, but it is very balmy and I do love these things. I have one that's in my bathroom right now and it is like almost gone. I do love these things. So that is really, really cool. Uh, but it will be up on this, um, right here if it is or isn't cruelty free. And then the next thing is Murad, which um, Murad is not cruelty free. So that's sucky for them. So I will pass this on. This is the uh, Ultra Moisture for Eyes. I'm not going to open it, open it, but I just want to look at the jar. Uh, Murad is actually a really good company. Like they, I mean, they have good skincare that works really good, but it's not a good company in my eyes because they are not cruelty free. Uh, from what, from what I remember, it will be up here on the screen. Uh, but yes, I'm going to put this over here because I know it's, we'll just put it by this so we can recap later. Ooh, a Becca product. Um, this is, um, an, a lip definer in the shade Charming. Becca is cruelty free and a lot of their products I believe are vegan as well. Most of them are because they're edible or their lip stuff is edible. So it has, what's this thing? Oh, that's cool. It's kind of have this like thing to help kind of, I don't know. And then it has a sharpener at the end. There's a little sharpener that comes out. There's a fuzz in my nose. Oh. Okay. And it is in the shade Charming, which is kind of like a terracotta color. Right there. Not too shabby. I would definitely, I definitely love shades like this. So keep that, keep that. And then we also have a lip product from Appeal. And I do not know if they are cruelty free or not. But I, basically how I check to see is I just go to Logical Harmony cruelty free brand list. And I feel like she just does the most research. Everybody else, uh, um, like if it's PETA approved, PETA is fine with um, stuff being sold in China. And I'm not sure if that's anything that I um, am actually um, going to subscribe to. So let's see, appeal, appeal. So it doesn't look like appeal is, um, it could be in her gray area, which is like some stuff brands are just a little bit, let's go here, gray area. Some stuff it's in her gray area, then it's just, you know, personal opinion. So let's go ahead and see. Okay, so it's not in the gray area, and okay, well we can see it's not in her um, brands to avoid either, uh, so I'm just going to look them up just for me. Okay, so I'm going to say that they are not because they do sell mink lashes, so I'm just going to pass this on, but it has like a nice, looks like a kind of red tone shade in there, uh, but... It doesn't look like it's a cute packaging, so I'm just going to set it aside in my um, products to send to someone else. And the next thing that we have in here is from um, Hank and Henry. They are cruelty free and vegan. 
and it looks like this is a shadow palette. Looks really, really fun. And I will zoom in on their claims here. Uh, so that is the back of their packaging and it does say cruelty free. So I'm going to trust that. And this palette looks super fun. And oh, wow, it's kind of bulky, I must say for just tiny shadows. Uh, and it has one, two, four mattes and five shimmers. So that is what we have there. Oh my gosh, it looks so fun. So which one should we swatch? Let's swatch the purple one because I'm probably going to want to use that one. It's not very purpley, I must say. And I'm gonna do this teal. We'll zoom in on these. And then this blue shade. Wow. So that is some of their shades. I would say this purple tone right here is not a very good tone. Let's try it again. Go over it one more time. It doesn't, it's not anything I haven't seen before. Um, I've seen something like this before, but this palette itself is kind of fun and you know, it has good mats and so you can actually make something quite fun out of this. So I'm actually excited about that. I haven't gotten a new eyeshadow palette in a little while. So that's fun. Well, I have its Physicians Formula, but they, they just took, they just took the dark side with them. Okay, so let's go over what we have and how many products that are cruelty free. This month I feel like was not as good as the previous months. I feel like we have a lot of more um, non cruelty free items here uh so so far these two are not in the past month i feel like everything was in here and um i really just feel like maybe boxycharm is getting so many customers and with their th three boxes that they have they're kind of um losing their touch uh, uh they're probably not even seeing this video but even if they are maybe they should take note uh there's not very good um, packaging, like this not, it's not insulated very well. I mean, the, the palette was, but at the same time, if there's everything's floating around and bouncing around, the palette could still break. So, um, and then uh, with this being kind of dirty and dusty, uh, come on. So it's funny because they say, I'm gonna look this up, it'll be here, because this says, Mirad says cruelty-free, and they might have went cruelty-free in the past. Let's look it up real quick, so maybe we can add a little bit more to our, like, thumbs up for Boxy Charm. Murad, Murad is cruelty-free, so, so far just the lipstick is not cruelty-free. So we're just gonna pass this lipstick along. And now we have a new eye cream because Murad is on their list. It said, should, uh, it should be noted that they're cruelty free, but their parent company is not. So what, what we do, what I do in this situation is I am okay with that. And so that their parent company can think, hey, this brand is like making a little bit more in sales because they're not testing. And so and so, and so and so. You almost have to double check everything like because like Physician's Formula says cruelty free and so does ELF and you that's your own personal preference whatever you pick but um, it's just and I'm actually I'm actually happy that this is a good box and I really am really stoked to play with everything I haven't gotten a lip liner in a long time and I've been kind of feeling a little bit rusty on lip liners so I'm super excited to add one a new one to the collection. I only have a little bit of lip liners, so, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this BoxyCharm unboxing. If you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more uh, research videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye!